Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! Before I start this video, I would like to introduce myself first as many of you might be new to my channel. My name is Christina and I am a 2020 GKS Scholarship Awardee from Indonesia. I am currently enrolled in Chungnam National University in Daejeon for the mandatory one-year language program. After I finish this program, hopefully this summer, I will be going to Seoul to attend Iwa Women's University for my graduate program in International Studies. Before I talk more in this video, I think it will be best if you grab some snack first or some coffee or tea because this video might be a little longer. And English is not my first language, but I will try to use it in this video so that it can reach more armies out there. As you've seen in the title or the thumbnail of this video, I will be talking about my scholarship experience but there is something different or unique within the journey. Um, previously, I never made a BTS related content in my channel or a specific video about BTS, but I would like to share about it in this video. So the reason why I made this video is because of some requests. You guys want to know about my journey and how did I end up here. And this particular question wasn't only asked in YouTube or my videos in this channel. And some even reached out to me on social media and asked me how did I end up here. I'd like to tell you that it is mainly because of BTS. When I say BTS, probably most of the people will think a lot of people come to Korea because they've known K-pop or they they knew BTS. But for me, it is more personal because I got the scholarship because of BTS. <laughs> Surprising, or maybe not. But you guys probably will ask this question like, by just being a BTS fan, you can actually get a scholarship to study abroad. How can a mere K-pop group brought you to this point? How is that possible? Okay. Yeah. I have several things that I'm going to share you in this video, but first of all, I think all armies out there will agree on this, that BTS is not a mere K-pop group. It's because their music and narratives can resonate louder compared to any political speeches or motivational words you've heard your whole life. And second of all, I don't know how you're gonna get your intake in this video, but my journey proved that how you can actually achieve or serve your purpose in life without giving up on things that you like. Because sometimes we ended up making sacrifices just to please the society and its standards. And third, although this scholarship is not given by BTS or nor their agency, my entire life experience with them is the one that played a big part in me getting this scholarship. Now I'm going to tell you everything, decisions by decisions, and how things finally in the end brought me to this point. Okay, in order to do so, I will share a bit about how I first decided to become a BTS ARMY. Back in 2016, I watched a Korean drama titled Hwarang. This drama is a historical drama about the Silla dynasty. And in this drama, I first saw BTS. V I've listened to Blood, Sweat and Tears, Dope, Fire, Save Me, but I never look who is the artist. And when I watched this drama, I began to look for V and I ended up knowing BTS, but I haven't decided to become their fan until I listened to their song titled Young Forever. When I listen to this song, I feel such a deep connection. Although this is not a love from the first sight, my interest on BTS just grew every time I listened to that song. Especially with this lyric, Jin sang this part in the song. Even when I fall and hurt myself, I'll endlessly run towards my dream. As 
a sophomore back then I was living my life with a lot of burden and expectations to excel academically that lyric was like a lightning struck for me because I was so demotivated at that time but after I heard it I feel like I'm not the only one suffer I'm not the only one struggle but there's also other people who is in this particular situation like me compared to most of my peers in the university I came from an underprivileged background just as how BTS was because they came from a small and unknown entertainment agency and in the pursuit of our dreams we sacrifice a lot we fail we make mistakes we're caged by the society's expectations and standards we often feel insecure and fell along the way. However, when else can we still stand up and run towards our dream if it's not during our youth? That is the message that I got from that song. Long story short, because of those experiences, I then become an army. I decided to become an army. Although at that time, I didn't have much money, so I couldn't afford any albums or merchandises to show my support for them and the only thing I did is just streaming their music videos diligently on YouTube and listen to their songs like on the free music platforms and even vote for them for the award shows. My university year wasn't perfect, but I'm glad and grateful that I can find happiness and strength in BTS's music. I'm also glad that they really care about their fans, ARMY, and they've did a lot of meaningful interactions with their fans on social media. Back in university, my major is international relations, and I was beyond proud and wowed when BTS launched their Love Myself campaign and when they gave a speech in front of world leaders in the General Assembly of the United Nations. I have loved them but I began to respect them more and acknowledge them for all of the good causes that they've done which has inspired us ARMY to do the same for humanity. Moving on to 2019, Despite all of the ups and downs, I still endlessly run towards my dream and I finally graduated from university. After graduation, I started working as a lecturer assistant in my alma mater and during that time, one of my colleagues who is a professor in the same faculty with me told me about the first BTS Global Conference. I was shocked when I heard it because I never thought that there will actually be an academic conference about BTS. So as an academician at that time, I was contemplating because I've never considered about BTS in my discipline. I mean, we know a lot about wars, we know a lot about tradings, and those issues dominate the international relations field of study. So after a lot of considerations, I then said to myself, okay, why not give this a try? Because I like BTS and I don't want to give up on them when I'm trying to achieve my dream. So I then start uh, writing the abstract, I start my research and it was a collaboration with the colleague that told me about the conference so after, after that we submitted our abstract and unexpectedly <laughs> I was actually helping for that but I couldn't believe it at that time because our abstract passed and we were invited to present the research or the paper in that conference. Okay, now we're coming to the, <laughs> I would say the turning point of my life. When I attended the BTS Global Conference, it was held in Kingston University in London on January last year, which is January 2020. In that conference, I've met a lot of awesome BTS scholars from around the world, from different backgrounds, and they're all armies. And they also presented or chairing a session in that conference. It was just mesmerizing, surprising, and amazing because I've never witnessed anything like this 
in my life. The passion, the love, the interest, the spirit that we armies have for BTS it was just outstanding. I mean, to be able to do research about or to write an academic paper about an idol that you like, it was very unlikely. I am amazed of how people from music, from economy, from psychology, from education, even political sciences and social sciences come together to present their academic work about BTS. Even after the conference ended, I still keep in touch with some of them and probably they are also watching this video right now. So I would like to send my regards to all of you. I hope you all are healthy and also in good condition by this hard time. My journey to London itself was not easy because I need to go through a lot of preparation and I also need financial support. I need to find the sponsors at that time that will be able to fund me during my trip because it wasn't funded by my workplace. But in the end, the intake was so great. The intake was so satisfying because it's not only that I can present my research about BTS, but it actually opened another door of opportunity in my life. And that is the opportunity to pursue higher education. So in that conference, I presented about my paper, which is a research about BTS from the international relations perspective. And I used a lot of soft power concepts in order to explain how influential BTS is in the international stage, how they can serve the public diplomacy interest of South Korea. So after my presentation, one of the audience approached me. She turned out to be a professor from Iwa Women's University. I was surprised because at that time, she told me about their study program and also about the scholarship opportunity in the campus. So after I heard that, I feel excited. <laughs> But I was also confused because I never thought that I would be considering study abroad in such a short period because I was kind of focusing on working at that time and I didn't really search or put my time to consider about study abroad or pursuing higher education. At that time, I just listened. Basically, what she told me about the scholarship, they will cover the tuition, so they have several options for the scholarship, but most of them only covers the tuition. When I came back to Indonesia, I talked about it with my family, with my colleges, and all of them were like, I think you should get it. I think you should apply for it. We think you should give it a chance. Um, I was so thankful because of overflowing support and care that I received from my colleagues, but the financial part is just like my main consideration. So after that, I reached out back I reached out to the professor again and I asked her about the detail of the scholarship and I also told her that I wouldn't be able to do that if it only covers the tuition. So then when she replied to my emails, she told me about GKS, which previously known as the KGSP. And this is a scholarship that was given by the Korean government for the foreign nationals who wants to study in Korea and I never looked like two years ago before I came to the conference or at the moment that I get graduated I never considered studying in Korea and I never really looked for the opportunity itself I didn't know anything about this GKS scholarship but at that point she told me that uh, probably if you want to join us in this department, you can apply for the scholarship. With the given recommendation that I got from her, I then began my research about this scholarship opportunity. I look for the mechanism, I look for the requirements, the documents, what should I prepare, what should I submit, and how like the detail of the scholarship, what are the costs that they're going to cover, and everything. So at the moment I began looking for this opportunity, it was already, I think, February last year. It was already February last year. The duration of my preparation was very short because when I checked, it said that 
I also need to look for the deadlines of application of each Korean embassy in every country. So when I look for the Korean embassy in Indonesia, in Jakarta, they say that the deadline is on like March 9, if I'm not mistaken. I mean like I rush everything back then, <laughs> but in the end it worked. I never expected that despite this hard time, I can finally come to Korea. To everyone who's watching this video, I hope that in pursuing your dream, even if you find only the slightest chance, you should give it a try. And do not give up on things that you like. Uh, for me and all the armies out there, it is BTS. I just feel really thankful towards them because their music, their work, and everything they did has been such an inspiration. Although there are people that might think or might not recognize or acknowledge BTS for their hard work and only perceive them as a product of their company, but for us, ARMY, and for everyone who've listened to their songs and find meanings in their lyrics, and find inspiration in their works. They're just so much more. And I am one of the proof that how BTS has inspired and how they actually have become a blessing in someone's life. For all the army, no matter what the future holds, please keep supporting BTS and love all the seven members of them. For all my fellow armies out there, I wanna cheer you up and even though this video is not something big, this is just a story from one of you. I believe that there are more big stories out there and there are still more of how BTS have inspired your life. So if you also have a story about them that you would like to share, please don't hesitate to share it because they also say that we need to speak ourselves, right? We need to speak and voice out the things that we had in our lives no matter if it's a good or bad experience as long as it, it can help someone or it can motivate someone or it can inspire people then you shouldn't hesitate to do that okay even though this video is nothing fancy but i thank you for listening until this point and i hope that through my story you can also find courage and you can also find motivation to achieve more things in your life if you're still interested in my scholarship journey or you want me to talk more about it or make a different video that focus on it um, don't hesitate to comment down below or if you want to see me make content on something else you could also feel free to reach out to me in my social media or on the comment section of this video if you want to check my other content or videos as well you can also look for them on my channel and to support this channel if you like this video please hit the like button or subscribe to my channel or share this to anyone or all your army's friend out there uh, because maybe my journey or my story can also help them to find hope so i'll see you on my other videos bye